Amika, you, you've come to Orange from Darwin, and I was just wondering how, uh, why did you choose clinical science Orange if you came all the way from Darwin? Why wouldn't you choose somewhere else, Brisbane? Um, well, I guess, one, to escape the family for a bit, you know, put a big gap against us distance-wise. Distance um, also because... Uh, I'm used to a very laid-back type of lifestyle, so big city kind of didn't attract me. Um, and uh, clinical science was um, something that was suggested to me by my careers advisor because she knew I wanted to do something in health science, but I didn't know at the time what it was. So uh, I, I felt like uh, clinical science in Orange was perfect for me because I, right. I, yeah, I could also enjoy Sydney if I wanted to because it's not that far. Right. Um, so you graduated in clinical science in 2013, um, and you said you said to me early before we started this that um, you you chose to come here um, after completing an international baccalaureate um, as at school. So what is why did you do international baccalaureate, and what sort of ATAR did you have to get into clinical science? Um, International Baccalaureate, I uh, guess, uh, put me at a good uh, academic standard, which is why I chose to do it. It's very challenging, but it was also very similar to, uh, I guess, a university, university schooling experience, which is what they um, uh, tell you during high school, that is very much like uni. Um, so I wanted to get a head start on that, I guess. And uh, I received... Uh, I received about, uh, I think, at the time, about an 89 ATAR, mm -hmm. and um, because I wanted to move to Orange, I didn't know this at the time, but they add on extra points if you're from a rural area, which okay. was, uh, I was considered a rural student because of um, my postcode in Darwin. So yeah, it bumped it up a little bit. And um, at the time when you... Um chose clinical science, was your career path, what was your career pathway? I took a gap year before I started my university endeavours because I was at a complete loss. Clinical science opened me up to a lot of uh, different allied health fields, which I didn't expect and I wish I kind of knew that earlier on because um, I guess when you're moving to Orange and it's a very dentistry orientated campus, I felt as though that's what I wanted to do. And I, I did find that in the end, but at the same time, I got, I got a very good appreciation for the different um, allied health professions. Okay, and so um, now it's uh, 2014 and you've just finished your first year in dentistry. Um, and I, I was thinking about clinical science, so it's got this capstone year of problem-based learning, which I don't really know very much about. And I was wondering, um, so students always speak very highly of the year of problem-based learning. Did you find that that has helped you in some way in the clinic in dentistry? A hundred percent it has. Uh, I, I do see uh, myself struggling less compared to students who are fresh out of high school and I guess don't have the experience to be a little bit more self-efficient and uh, problem-based learning pushes you to do that and I guess after third year it's just ingrained in you to not just put your hand up and you know ask for the answer. You go looking for it mm -hmm. and you get a deeper level of understanding of, you know, why certain things are the way they are. Right. Yeah. And it helps you learn, um, oh, I, I guess it helps you figure out what type of learner you are, which is, uh, I guess, my biggest realisation when I finished um, third year clinical science because I knew how my brain worked and I knew what worked for me and now I can apply that to my uh, uh, dentistry subjects. I see. So... Uh, among other things, problem-based learning helps you discover the best way that you can learn. I think so, Whatever yes. your style might be. Because you have to use it to solve problems exactly. and so you eventually find the, the fastest way to solve the problem. Exactly. Your way. And, and I guess it helps you learn about yourself. Because you see how you react in certain situations mm -hmm. and what you do and what you could do better at. Okay, um, so just with regards to using clinical science as a pathway to graduate entry to dentistry. Mm -hmm. um, so when you applied for dentistry, what kind of grade point average or, um, you know, did you get a, a distinction or average or yeah. what sort of score were you on? 
I was at about 5.25, so in between credit, credit distinction. and distinction. And you had a degree in hand, of course, you had yes. clinical science, so that counts for something as well. Yes. Um, and, and on top of that, when, when you apply for medicine or dentistry or actually any job really, um, employers or potential um, course um, administrators look very closely at things outside your study experience. So do you have anything in the way of work experience uh, that helped you gain entry into dentistry that you think helped? Yes, definitely. I did a lot of um, voluntary dental work um, internationally. I went to the Philippines, went to Cambodia. Um, I also did a lot uh, within Australia. Uh -huh. um, I worked for certain services like Danila Dilba, uh, which is an Aboriginal health clinic. Uh, that was also voluntary. Um, and you know, I think that they look for more well-rounded people with experiences in different things. You know, even social clubs that you're involved in or sporting clubs. It doesn't necessarily have to be dental related, but they like to see that you're involved with your community. So you said you did some uh, overseas experience in dental clinics. So how did you, uh, Cambodia I heard, how did you get involved in, um, in a trip to Cambodia to work in a dentistry related area? Um, well, being a migrant myself, I've always been really interested and passionate about international voluntary yeah. programs. And I guess uh, being my last year in clinical science at the time, I, I was just really inspired to just, you know, give it my all the last year. And um, uh, the Tooth Angel Cambodia project, which was, I was involved with, I guess spoke to me because, um, you know, you get to go out there and really see what it's all about. Because yeah. people go into... Uh, uh, voluntary programs with you know dental professionals, but this is an actual program that's you know completely run by volunteers, and um, it was a good I guess scaffolding because uh, they already had something in place, and you can make it like an annual trip, and they're always happy to have you. So. Fantastic. Yeah.